It's Walter Martin back to help you find a Craigslist car at a very affordable price in the state of California. We've gone through pretty much the entire state at this point, but I wanted to document San Bernardino County. I recently did a video on the Inland Empire and San Bernardino as part of this, but let's look at it from a different perspective. If you type in Craigslist San Bernardino and then just hit enter, I can't spell, but you'll see the first listing is the inlandempire.craigslist.org, but most people are going to search for San Bernardino because that's where they're from. So we're going to click inlandempire.craigslist.org, and this is going to take us to the generic Craigslist website, and when you click information about the Inland Empire, it's going to take you to the Wikipedia page and note that it's Riverside, San Bernardino, and Ontario. I recently did this the Riverside video, so if you want to check my YouTube Craigslist Cars channel, you can see the San, or the Riverside video, but now we're going to worry about San Bernardino. But to find the lowest prices in your area, always click the Cars and Trucks tab under For Sale and look for Buy Owner Only. This is where you're going to find some of the lowest prices, and you're going to see quickly a 93 Chevy Suburban for only $3,300. They're asking their best offer as well. It's got 180,000 miles on it. They have recently put new tires on it, some decent pictures here, and a phone number. But to get a sport utility, a large sport utility for, over, for under $3,500, you're not going to find that at many car dealerships. You're also going to find some very interesting cars. Here's a 1950 Chevy sedan. Unfortunately, there are no pictures, and this is something that's very common with Craigslist listings. They list all the years from 35 to 70 in, in case somebody searches 1962 Chevy sedan, their search will come up. And they also put their zip code. You know, here's another one, a 61 Willys Jeep station wagon, once again, low priced, but no pictures. You're going to see some listings without prices. So what you might want to do is go up here and put a min in for your prices. Instead of putting no minimum, I would put something like $400 to $1,000 and search. And you're going to find all the vehicles or vehicle-related products in this price range. You're going to find a lot of lift gates and utility beds and tires and stereos and parts and stuff like that. But you're also going to find some vehicles like a 1966 Ford F100 for $800. Um, once Probably is not going to run right now, but you know if you're good with vehicles, this might be a good purchase. Here's a Ford Taurus for $800. That is a very affordable price for that car, but it is not running. So once again, if you are good with cars and you understand the process of getting a car up and running again, you can, you can find some great deals on Craigslist. Here's a 92 Dodge Caravan for only $950. The brakes need work. It would be something that would be very concerning, but you know there are ways to fix those problems so if you plan on buying a car in the San Bernardino area I would suggest using some of the price points here or if you just want to look at all the cars listed by owner you can take both of those out and you can if you want to see ones with just pictures click the has image box there and now you're gonna see all of the cars with images that are being for sale by owner and Whatever you're looking for, just you know, do the diligent research. I would definitely contact them via the seller via telephone rather than just trying to work email. That can be a huge pain, and there are possibilities of scams. So always look out for any type of deals that are too good to be true. You don't want to get involved in those. But there are some amazing opportunities to save on Craigslist. Please comment below and like this video if you do happen to like it.